Hi, I just wanted to share a bit about a scripture that I've been reading that I found quite interesting. Okay, the scripture is Proverbs 28 and verse 1, and it says, The wicked flee though no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. And when I was thinking about this scripture, I was thinking, well, what would cause the wicked to flee though no one pursues? Hmm, I think that they got wind that trouble was on its way. And because they were guilty in their hearts, they knew that trouble was coming after them. And so they take off, whereas the righteous has nothing to fear because when you have not done the wrong thing, there is no fear. Who is there to fear? And this bold as a lion is, is you know, that's standing your ground, that's roaring, that's staking your claim as king of the kingdom. And when I thought about this, I thought about the spies and Joshua and how they were sent in to look at the land. Moses said, send the 12 spies out there. Get them to go and test, see what the land is like. Well, out they go, those 12 spies. And they come back and 10 give a bad report and 2 give a good report. And of the 10 they gave a bad report, this is what they said. They said, basically they said the land is amazing, it's great, it's got all of these wonderful things, lots of milk and honey flowing in the land. However, there's giants, bloody big giants in the land and they're frightening and, and it's, it says this, and this is what got me, this is the scripture in Numbers 13 that just made me go, oh my God. It said this, it says, we were as grasshoppers in our own eyes and as we were in our eyes, so we were in their eyes or something to that effect. It was, we were as grasshoppers in our own eyes and so we were in their eyes. And what I saw from that scripture was, when we think of ourselves as being small and having no power and no authority, then we become as grasshoppers in our own eyes and we project that onto others. And others see us as being small and insignificant and of no authority. But when we are like the righteous and we are bold as a lion and we roar from inside with the knowledge of who we are in God and what he's done for us, well, that is all powerful. That is just amazing. It's just such a difference. And this is for Christians and non-Christians. If you know who you are, if you act in a righteous way where there is no question about your actions because you've done the right thing, then you are able to stand your ground and to say, hang on a minute, no. And you can say it with all integrity and all authority. So my, I guess, recommendation is be honest. Be thinking of yourself in a right way. Own who you are. And don't think that you are small in comparison to others that seem to be big because when God is on your side, even the biggest giants fall. We only have to think about David and his slingshot and how he, he took that slingshot and he slow, slew Goliath, who was a huge man, completely intimidating. So my word today is don't be intimidated. If you are righteous, you can roar like a lion. If your heart is pure and your motive good and true, then God is on your side and he will stand and fight with you and for you. Stay safe in him today.